Yeah, this is this comes as a surprise to people trying a true grit or or a, or a love fork uh, for the first time. Uh, you notice it. Let's say if you're on a gravel road, going up a hill, it, it's smoothing things out, all good. But then when when you go into a descent and you, and you go really fast, then you just notice the road becomes just like like super smooth. It's just like uh, the obstacles they just vanish sort of. Uh, and this has an explanation. So it's ac essentially it's like two modes of its function. So when you're going slow or slowish, let's say if you hit a small curb at, at low speed, uh, you hit the curb and then, then the springs will just yeah, absorb that hit and then, then you go up and, and to, uh, onto the curb and then the springs will lift you up. So you are gonna go up on the curb so you're gonna experience that that elevation from the curb, but it's gonna happen uh, s in a more smooth manner than with what you would experience with a fully rigid fork. It's gonna happen over a longer period of time. But what happens uh, when you go super fast, or not super fast, just yeah, <laughs> uh, at decent speed, let's say uh, it's approximately maybe 15 miles per hour or so, uh, down a hill and, and you're hitting this small stuff like small stones that stand up uh, stand come up from the road from the gravel road what happens then is that the rebound of the fork uh, happens after the obstacle so you hit the obstacle the spring compresses you ride over the obstacle and then it rebounds so in this mode when you go fast enough uh, you just go through stuff you don't notice it you, you see it coming and then you just Go through it. So those are, uh, yeah, the two different modes of the fork. Uh, both are helping you as a rider, uh, but like the real like showpiece is when you go fast enough over small impacts, you just vanish. That's the party piece. <laughs>